Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on how things are going in our classroom. I'm sure some of you are aware that our little Rolo passed away a couple weeks ago. So I've had to rearrange everything. And during that time while he, when he got sick and passed away, I also noticed that Butterfinger was attacking Caramel. And I've come to realize that it's most likely due to the age difference. Butterfinger's almost six months old and Carmel's almost three. So I just found I cannot put older guinea pigs and younger guinea pigs together because they will just dominate. And, and that's pertaining to boys. Girls, I have not had a problem. Girls have not fought. They get along so well. So I think it's just related to the boys. Um, but so where Rolo was, this is where Carmel is. So Carmel is currently all by himself. I hate to do that to him, but I don't currently have any guinea pigs that are his age. And so if you remember from our last litter we had, there was a boy, a little guinea pig that I had kept with another teacher just in case Rolo did pass away or I, had, I was able to make room for him. Well, when Rolo passed away, I was able to make some room for him. So this is where Butterfinger and Carmel used to be. So right now we've got our, well, they're still a little bit skittish, but we've got our, um, our new guinea pig's name is Twix and he's really cute and they're just gonna hide from me. But as you can see, this is their guinea pig, their, their guinea pig. This is their cage, it's pretty big. It's a two by six, and Carmel's is a four by two. It's as big as I can make it. And um, the thing is, if you remember a while back when Rolo had to have his eye removed, I had to separate Carmel and Rolo, and Carmel refused to eat. So I've been monitoring him, and he's eating all of his food, and he's staying pretty peppy. I mean, he's been doing. Um, popcorning a lot lately when I clean his cage so I know he's in a good mood but I still am keeping an eye out for him so if he does become a little bit depressed and stops eating then I may have to go get Godiva uh, fixed so then they can be together because they always got along pretty well so not really sure about how that's gonna happen but I'll take you on over to girls cage. The girls are doing great. They're getting so big. They get along perfectly. I have, because there's three, and I know it's cramped with the two by six, I've made it into a two by seven. So they've got an extra running room and at both ends of the cage they've got a litter box. I've found that that helped them because in this back corner they would pee and poop everywhere. So I added that other litter box, or actually guinea pig cage that's a guinea pig bottom to a cage store-bought cage and which you can tell is way too small but I'm using that as a litter box and it's been working perfectly for them they barely use the bathroom anywhere now boys right back here they use the bathroom absolutely everywhere and, and I just cleaned their cage and you can see there's already a ton of poops back there so anyway I should have, probably this summer, I'm going to be doing more how-to videos, so what I feed them, what, um, like all the nutritional value of them, so stay tuned for that. I should have it up in the next month or so. I know I've been, a, it's been putting a video out every three or four weeks, but it's just been crazy with school coming to an end. Now we don't have testing, woohoo! Um, but anyway. I will give you heads up when the videos are coming, and thanks for watching. Bye guys!